Hey there, Seeds Church family. We hope that you are doing well, spirit, soul, and body today. Of course, you probably heard that Governor Lee extended our safer at home order all the way up until April 30th. And that's no surprise to any of us, but it kind of was a reality gut punch for us. And more than likely, it might not be the only extension that we get out of this thing. It's possible that this goes out even further. And I know for some of us, for me personally, it's hard because I'm missing everybody. I'm missing the physical contact, the face-to-face -face stuff. Zoom is wonderful. Facebook yeah. Live is great. FaceTime is great. Texting and phone calls are all great. But we miss you all. Yeah, it's true. Nothing can truly replace that. And so we're looking forward to the day that it is safe for us to come together. Yeah. And it's important that we are lawful. It's important that we continue to abide by the law. We're committed to being lawful and being good examples to our community on how to, to go through this. Yeah, but we want to encourage you. And this Sunday, um, we're gonna be speaking on how strong families speak words of life. So we wanna invite you to do something fun, to draw closer as a church family. As a lot of you know, at the beginning of this series on Strong Family, we consistently played a song called Family by Drew Holcomb and the Neighbors. If you look down below, you'll be able to see where that link is. We want to encourage you and your family to create your own video to that song. And what we would like to do is put them together where when we now watch family as a church family, it will be everybody that we know on the video. So join with us, have fun, be creative, uh, dance around your kitchen, whatever it takes, and uh, put together a video of you dancing and singing to family. It's gonna be a great time. I can't wait to see how it all comes together. It's gonna to yeah. be so much fun. Church family, I wanna encourage you with one other thing and that's to not squander this time. This moment of quarantine uh, during COVID-19 is like a burning bush moment for us. Mm -hmm. And like Moses had the choice to turn aside and pay attention to the burning bush, or he had the choice to continue herding the sheep and, and going along the mountain. He turned aside instead. And that's our moment today is, is going, this season that we're in, are we turning aside? Are we, are we going to be different after all of this is over? Are we going to be the same that we always were? Are we going to have pressed into intimacy with God and with our families and with each other? Or are we gonna go back and let everything be the same as it was before? Technically, not everything is going to be the same as yeah. before, but are we going to be different as disciples of, of Jesus, as followers of God. And so I want to encourage you, press into the secret yeah. place during this time. Let's be different. The church needs to be a voice. It needs to be something to the world that no, nothing else in the world is being right now. Mm. And that's you and me. We are the church. So let's press into the intimate place, to the secret place, and let's be the voice that God called us to be, not only through this moment, but when we are through this moment. Yeah that this is going to be a catalyst point, that God is going to use this moment in history as a catalyst for another great awakening in this nation. That's what I believe. Yeah. Church, we love you. We can't wait to see you this weekend online and wherever we meet <laughs> virtually. And of course, we look forward to the day that we get to meet in person again. If there's anything that you have need of, please don't hesitate to reach out and contact yeah. us. We will do everything that we can within our power to meet all the needs of our church family and then also whatever needs that we can meet in the community after that. We love you. Be blessed in Jesus' name.